Hey everyone, I hope you're well. I'm Bob is Sam. I want to talk about a life experience that changed everything for me. At this point in my life, I was dealing with multiple sclerosis, bipolar, psoriasis, arthritis, migraines, PTSD, a whole gamut of issues. So I was a disabled man and I lived that way for 38 years. And I was a cash potato. I used to watch anything and everything on TV. So I used to watch these ghost hunting shows, but I didn't know if it was real or fake. I thought it was fake, it's TV. I was the type of person that I had to see it to believe it. So I would see these TV shows, but with editing and stuff like that, I didn't think it was really much to it. But I saw a tweet from a ghost hunter. I was like, okay, I can go to the event and see if it's real or not. So I had experiences there I could not explain, like flashlights going on and off, somebody sitting next to me I couldn't see, feeling a sense of dread, but this left me curious. What did I experience? So I dove deeper into that experience that, okay, I witnessed something that makes no sense in my mind. What else is out there? And most of us just let these experiences go. Ah, it's just life and on to the next shiny object. Ah, just life on to the next sh shiny object. And that's the mind constantly dismissing things. But we have to stop and pause. Like if you're in a relationship and you keep changing your girlfriends or your boyfriends, and it's the same person over and over again, just changing different bodies. Or you keep changing employers and the same things keep happening over and over again. We have to stop and pause and see how can we break this cycle? Because every experience that we have is here to awaken us up to our true nature. And this may make no sense to you, but we are a deeper essence. And the whole point of life first is to wake up to our, to our true nature. If you don't know your true nature, then you really don't know why you're here. Your mind's creating all these purposes. Or you remember your mind saying that life is pointless, pointless, worthless, and all these stories, because we're trying to figure out why we're here well, the first thing we have to do is realize who we really are. That's the first purpose. But that one experience I had changed everything for me. Because that's led me on to a quest. What did I experience? So I was reading various books, but very slowly because I had MS. And my eyesight was poor. So it took a while. But eventually I read about meditation bringing inner peace. Because I was curious, what did I experience? So I read books and discovered meditation equals inner peace, found inner peace, and I got my health back in order. But we just have to slow down and pause and realize that nothing is happening to you. And you're not a victim of reality, but this is very hard to understand until you wake up out of the illusions of the mental stories that you're this body that you're this age, that you have this house, and all these things that we take as our truth. But we are that which does not change, that deeper, deeper essence. Otherwise, we're just caught up in the matrix, if you will, and the illusions, the stories, the circumstances, the violence, the crime, and all these issues that we have in life. But we just have to need to pause and say, why is this happening? And how can I stop this from happening? It's all about being curious about that experience. So curiosity is key to learn from these life lessons, if you will. But there's no real lessons per se that earth isn't a school. It's just that we have all of these experiences to help us grow and expand our consciousness to add to the collective. That's a little deep. But just realize you're having all these experiences and these experiences are simply here to remind you of who you really are spirit soul consciousness whatever it is for you you are that which is beyond words but just notice these experiences that you're having in life slow down reflect and see what can you what can you learn from this experience Everything's here to learn, 
to remind us who are we. All right, that's all for today. I'll talk to you soon.